guys and welcome back to the channel and a new video. So a video with a difference today, um, we are doing a bit of fabricating and it is for someone special by request, someone that we all know and love dearly, the crazy crabbers. Um, so the last time she was here, or one of the last times she was here, she saw a name plaque which I made, um, just a bit of messing around really, when I was welding, um, which is there and I just welded my name on there. She's seen that and has asked if I can make her one. Um, I think that was in August and we're now in October and I finally found a little bit of time to do it. So that's what I'm going to do and I'm going to do it with you guys. Um, so we'll uh, do that together. My idea is obviously, we're talking about Sarah here. So I printed that basic picture off, obviously for your towel. Um, so I'm hoping to do something in that shape, something that she knows and loves dearly and obviously weld her name because that's obviously what she wants. So that's my plan. So that's what we're going to be doing today. And then also, if we get time, a service for the lovely Betty. Um, we have the filters, we have the plugs and Lucas have kindly sent us all our products now. So obviously I'm going to be using the Lucas oil and the Lucas additives today um, and we'll do the service on Betty together as well. So let's get started. Okay, so my plan is to cut this out, what I showed you earlier, and hopefully transfer it onto this piece of steel. Um, so I will time lapse that because that's probably going to take me a few minutes and um, it's not going to be the best watching, is it? So we'll do that and... Also, I know a lot of my subs um, are eagle-eyed and you've probably noticed this and this. So yes, for Filbert, for the Pinto, um, the new head and so the big valve head and the Kent cam. So we've been doing a little bit behind the scenes for Filbert. Um, there's more to come regarding that soon, so keep your eyes peeled. So let's get on with this for Sarah then. Okay, so cut out, stuck down on the steel and drawn around it as well. So we've got our template now, which is cool. Um, so I'm gonna go around this shape now with, for people who don't know what it is, an air nibbler, which is ridiculously noisy, um, but it's a good tool and will do the job. So I'll go around it with this, like I say, as close as I can to the template. And then after that, I will be using this, which is the surface prep tool, and it has a roll lock disc. Um, quite a tough grit on that as well so that's what we're going to use next and that'll get the finer details so I'll time, lock, time lapse those two things um, and then we will stop again and we'll do the next bit together again so before we start um, my Twitter followers will know exactly what I'm talking about so um, I'm now going to turn into Ginger Ali G which <laughs> Someone said I look like last time I wore these goggles, um, but safety first, guys. Let's do it. Okay, Ginger Ali G coming back at you. This is where we're at. So we've got our shape. I'm happy with that. So next thing now is I'm gonna try and get some of this detail in. So I'm gonna use this, which is our pencil air die grinder kit. And I'm using a carbide tip. So again, I'm gonna time lapse it guys because it's gonna take me a bit of time to do this bit. So we'll see the finished article soon. Thank you. Okay, so all the lines are done now with the die grinder. 
so it's literally just the big reveal um, I'll try my best to show you because obviously the template took a beating um, so here we go big reveal check that out don't know if you can see the finer details there guys just differentiates it a little bit so it actually looks like an Ital rather than if you look at the back that pretty much could be anything couldn't it so the lines needed to be on there but yeah I'm happy with that so obviously Sarah wanted a name so we need to figure out a way now of our obviously welder name next probably a plaque underneath we'll figure out how we're going to mount that how it looks best and that's the next job Okay guys, so next bit obviously is to make Sarah's nameplate um, weld that, so I'm going to time lapse a little bit in a minute. Um, but I just want to ask if anybody knows of any welding companies who may be able to help me out regarding this um, very oversized jacket. I have tried everywhere that I know of um, for a welding jacket that will actually fit me because I'm a little bit small, uh, not your average size guy and unusual a female welder um, so if anyone knows please put in the comments also the gloves um, these are manageable but again I'm struggling with these my hand size is youth yes I admit it <laughs> um, but yeah let me know in the comments please guys I would love to be able to weld without having um, a, a, I don't know if you can see that roll there but that's how much I have to roll my sleeves up and even then they're that baggy they get in the bloody way so please let me know in the comments. Um, so I'm going to time lapse now. I'm going to measure out. I'm going to write Sarah's name as again as a template so that I can weld, just so I can get the size right basically. So I'm going to do that. I'll time lapse it and then I'll stop again and we'll do the next piece together. Okay, so getting back to the welding jacket I mentioned earlier, um, obviously I really do want your help, but in addition, I forgot to mention, now I've took the jacket off, um, if anyone can suggest a jacket that doesn't make you look like you've got severe dandruff when you've taken it off, like this one does, then I'd be really grateful with that as well. Um, so getting back to what we're doing, Ivan has been tacked on now onto the uh, nameplate that I've welded for Sarah. So I'm just going to quickly run these cuts down here with our Milwaukee grinder um, just to trim it up a bit. Okay. Okay, so just in case Sarah doesn't want them wall mounted and she wants them possibly on a desk maybe, um, we've designed or, well, we're in the process of designing and printing some 3D brackets for our 3D printer. Um, so that's what we're on with at the moment. Technology. It's cool, isn't it? So our 3D printer is here in its little tent. So we make all kinds of things, clips and things for cars, etc. But it's ace. So Sarah, however you want it mounting, we've sorted it for you. Right, guys. So I've basically just give it a bit of a clean up, give it a wipe over with some panel wipe, um, ready for paint. I'm going to give it a a coat of chrome. Um, just give it a bit of shine, and obviously it needs to look good on Sarah's wall or wherever she's going to mount it. Um, so I'll take some pictures of that when I've painted it and it's dried. Um, so regarding Betty's service, unfortunately, I'm not gonna get time to do that today um, as seemingly bonfire night has come early and we have pure fireworks going off outside and my lovely hound is at home alone and all I can think about is how frightened he's gonna be. So. I am going to close now. Um, I will probably upload 
Betty's service definitely within the next few days. So we've not got much of a wait. Um, and by then as well, my air filter didn't come in time. So I will have my air filter as well. So she will be getting a full service. So I'll post some pictures soon. Thank you for tuning in again as usual. I really appreciate it. And Crabbers, I hope you love this and it is to your expectations. So thanks again, guys. Subscribe. Thank you. Love you all.